Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper. I am coming to you with a little update on what's going on. Sorry about the light. It's been a long day. Got a long one tomorrow and a long week. But I wanted to give you a little peek about my temporary workshop until I get the backstage done. So I'm going to flip you around. So we pretty much got, this is still temporary. All that's temporary. I'm not sure if I'm building these in or what I'm doing, but we got everything from the backstage in. There's the backstage drop. You all pretty much know it as Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper. But this is where I'm going to be staying. This was basically the table that I had everything on in the backstage. But I got a new table, so we'll see how that goes. Little uh, tool chest. Got some pipes and knives and stuff. And then I am cramped up right there. So for a week or two, that is where I am going to be. Well, actually, I'll be back here. So the backstage will be about to the window here. This corner, these two walls, shelves, cabinets and shelves, a desk. And then, like I was telling you guys before, from about that window to the bikes, that's just going to be shelves, freestanding shelves that you see just stuff that's back there. All this stuff will come out tomorrow after Gay gets done with the wash. Then we're going to be texturing walls, painting walls, and we're going to try and do an epoxy coat on the floor back here, but I don't know, there's some real funky, greasy stuff going on right here in this corner. So I am not sure. Uh, when we first moved in, we, we, we removed the tile in all three parts of the garage. And then I did the uh, Brillo buffing wheel. And so, uh, basically it's gonna look more like Sorry, put this on the stand. Make my adjustments here. So kind of temporarily, we're gonna be busting at you about here until we get stuff fixed in the backstage. So anyways, there you go. And there you have it. What's going on up here? Let's see here, we got, uh, we're crowded, that's what we are. A lot of this stuff that you're seeing down here is what I look at when I'm filming. I got this thing here that has the pipe, the, the Brillo pipe cleaners, regular pipe cleaners, filters, filters, matches, uh, lighters, just tampers. All kinds of stuff. More tampers. These pipes here are pipes that I'm working on. This pipe right here I got to finish tomorrow. That's going out in a box to Eric Weaver. And I tell you what, I'm going to, how much time have I got? Four minutes. I'm going to do a yabo real quick on this because I got stuff everywhere. This is a yabo or trade that Eric and I are working on. Actually, he's done. I've got my half to go. Got me a sticker. I'm going to have cabinets. Um, I know this is really jerky because I'm a little bit out of sorts, but I wanted to show you the top cabinet here. I'll have these two cabinets. I got two more. They'll go on a wall in the backstage. It's where I'm wanting to put stickers and whatnot. I'm hoping to have an open wall. But anyway, let's get to Eric Yabo. Dang. Let's just say. There's a buffing wheel right there, which will go over 
which will go over right there with that buffing stuff. Oh man, it is going to be a ride, this video. So we got that. He basically set me up with a piping. I'm not, oh, stems. He gave me a bunch of stems. Um, and then blocks. I mean blocks. Blocks and blocks and blocks. Give me something to practice and work on. Oh my gosh, I haven't even really been in this box, guys. He bombed the heck out of me. Heck, look at that plateau block. Sweet. Another buffing wheel. Another buffing wheel. Sanding pad wheel with Velcro on it. And then uh, he said he was out of stationery, but he did his typewriter action on there, just laying it all out for me. So, Eric, appreciate it, brother. Dang. Another block. Another block. Another block. I'm not sure. Uh, I maybe have to fill my box up. Another block. Another block. Look at that gnarly stuff. Oof. And then, oh my God, another block. This will be a good practice block here. But look at this, man. Look at these files. Look at this little pick thing. Sweet chicken, Eric. Oh, these are files, man. These are bent files. Never seen them. Another file. Too cool. A little round one. Big round one. Another little file. Eric. I appreciate that, brother. A rat file file. So, yeah, basically these are going to just go down in this little piping tool cabinet that I have down here. My good, oh shoot. Oh, look at that. He set me up for a tamper with the casing on it. That is awesome. Eric. I can't thank you enough, buddy. Um, I'm speechless. Dang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't even know how much those things cost. But, uh, wow. Buffing wheels, stems again. Got us some stems. See what we got here. Oh my gosh, look at the stems. Heck, I can't see. He sent bigger stems just in case I wanted to drill them out to nine mils. So that is too cool. That'll make some great practice. It might be a little bit before I get to them, but hey. We're gonna be ready to roll. And then the tamper. Eric, <clears throat> thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Smoking my naked 626 that I did the stem work on that I haven't buffed out yet. And it's getting all funky oxidized. And in it, I have got Peter Stokeby mix, luxury navy flake. Luxury Bullseye, and Luxury Twist. And again, that's just a mixture that I do that uh, I enjoy while I'm working. So, guys, I think that's about all I've got. I have got some work to do. I have got at least three yabos back in that corner that I've got to do. I just knocked one out. So actually I've got two to do that I need to get done this weekend. So anyways, Mel Harris, garbage man, Piper, <coughs> burning it from both ends.
sweet chicken, baby. You all be safe out there.